one of the most important lessons that I learned while I was training boxing was to always move. Always keep the movement going. Because if you stand still, you're a stationary target and it's much easier for your opponent to just crack you. you know, just crack you in the face. But if you're constantly moving your head and bobbing, weaving, then it increases the challenge and it makes it very difficult to be hit. So, um, that is like a physical lesson that I learned in like the art of combat. But in the mental game, it's also true too. Now, I find when I'm doing the same thing over and over again and my mind's stagnant and I'm not mentally stimulated, then my demons have a higher chance of getting a grip on me and kind of, you know, pulling me into those habits and patterns that don't serve me very well. So one of the tools that I use to kind of keep this whole mental game stimulated and in a good flow is to take a, you know, like a workshop or a seminar or just kind of, you know, mess around in some other city or some other place like Edmonton. That's where I am right now, by the way. Um, <laughs> yeah, so just take time off to unplug from my schedule and just plug into something new for a change. Um, typically, I do this once every three months, so every quarter of every year. That's uh, how it should be spaced out. But um, as of late, it's kind of been all over the place. Like in last August, I went to like Toronto and I came back, and then I didn't do anything for September, October, November, December, and then I went to a seminar in January, went to a dance workshop in February, and then went to a snowboarding trip with my work in March and then April I didn't do anything and then now it's May and I just uh, this is the most like, freestyle thing there's like no form I just kind of went to Edmonton I'm like hey I'm just gonna go visit a friend but they may or may not be available but if they are then hang out with them if not then I'll do my own thing so um, it's been a really good time but anyways so the whole thing about this is just to uh, go to a different city sleep in a different bed and just you know expose myself to new things whether it's just you know i mean just physically being in a place just a virtue of seeing things i've never seen before it's opening up new neural pathways in my brain like my brain nearly has to like create new memories and bits of data to store the information that i'm kind of pulling in so that in itself is like very stimulating it's always exciting it's always adventurous to be in a new place and kind of do the same things you would kind of do in like where you regularly live but in a different place with different people and it just opens up a lot of different opportunities and I think it's even more powerful if uh, you go to a seminar or a workshop because I find that there's just an energetic connection that happens when there's a group of people whether it's you know 10 people 15 people 100 people a thousand people 2,000 people and yes I've been to events where they had 2,000 people um, but um, regardless of any of that even if it's just 10 people there's an energetic connection where if every person who shows up, they're all investing the same amount of money, um, investing the same amount of time, and they're traveling to the same location to be together to learn some body of information that everyone's interested in. And I think that's very, very powerful. And I think because it kind of separates, you know, that group, they're resonating on a level that separates them from everyone else. And there's a reason why all those people decided to say, hey, I'm going to spend X amount of dollars I'm going to book this time off work and other social commitments and just focus on learning this body of information that I want to learn. And there's a very close energetic bond that happens between that and it's very powerful. So, um, yeah, that's kind of my spiel. Um, just kind of keep things moving, keep things fresh. And if you can't remember the last time you did something for the first time, then try something new. <laughs> try something new just keeps the evolution going.